Okay, well, this is a, this is a short one, so maybe I'll do another one, uh, obviously. So let's listen to this. Let's see what we got. Uh, I, I'm that kind of guy. Let's go. Trying to catch the meter on this. <laughs> oh, creepy. Oh, man, that was creepy. Now, this was a short one. I want to go back at the very beginning here just for a second. And, you know, establishing that that creepiness with that little ostinato that was going on, you know, the double cellos or the cello section. I was trying to figure out what the tempo was on that. And I was like, wow, man, it's, it was hard because there, there, there was a syncopation that was involved in there between the percussion, you know, the bass drums or the timpani and what the... Um, uh, cellos were doing but what's really cool are these unique dynamics where, where the composer arranges these they're more they're more um, that's what I'm looking for sound dynamics like when that when violinists will take you know their 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 violin go do but do it all kind of out, off tune and stuff to give you a little bit of that that spooky high-end like you know, uh, chicken skin kind of vibe down your spine kind of a thing. I just want to listen to that. Stand by. I just want to go back and just listen to that. And then you'll see me go like this. And I'll say, oh, there it is. So let's look here. Uh, I know it took a second to get in. Stand by. Yeah, turn up trader. I mean, I understand what you're saying with that. Yeah. You hear it? <laughs> that was great. It was it was subtle. It was in the background, but I, I definitely dialed into it. Uh, somebody had mentioned the fact that this does definitely have a different kind of uh, um, vibe when you listen to it without the visual. And so without a doubt, I mean, because I'm listening to it in the in the way that I am, I'm a lot. It's a lot. It, the theater of the mind takes over, and the emotion of the piece, you know, makes it dark and heavy. But I, this is probably a killer piece against the scene. Like if if it if I'm already feeling kind of creeped out and by the composition as it is, guaranteed most likely with the the visual of this. What 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 was happening during this piece for you, Elden Ring folks? Okay, one more Elden Ring, and let's go back to Minecraft. Let's get, because I, you know, wanted to uh, do that special track for Metal Jack. Let's see what we got here. Rasta Metal Jack, thank you for the follow. Uh, let me see. Okay, everyone keeps on telling me to do. Halo Infinite. Oh, 
Halo actually has a new game out? I didn't know that. All right, stand by. Um, you guys have chosen um, Elden Ring. Skin OST. <sighs> All right. No, I think maybe I need to make my thumbnails like that, don't you think? I should be going. I don't know. Oh, hi, buddy. Not making fun of you, but I am, but I'm not. <coughs> um. I guess this is it here, guys. Is this the one? Oh, my chat paused again. Dang it. Did this? This one. Oh, they're both the same in time, though. 435. Soy Jack? Is that what they're called? <laughs> uh, second one. All right, guys, here we go. Uh, from Elden Ring. This is Godskin Apostles. All right. This is what I call gigantic unison. And <clears throat> the power is unmatched when an orchestra is full on, you know, plus 20 fire damage and they're playing the same melody throughout the, the spectrum of the uh, sections. So there is a little bit of an ostinato going on at the bottom that's keeping that edgy and there is a harmony with the choral uh, composition that's going on in there. Not extremely bold, not, not very counter um, melodic going on, but it's this gigantic swimming, moving, dark, heavy piece. And then the dynamics that come around it and, and kind of keep on like kicking you and lifting you and or keeping you in the heat of the game are the swelling you know horn sections and stuff that blow up and grind up into you like that and it kind of keeps you kind of lifted and kicking in here i don't know what's happening in this if this is what uh, they call the boss fight or something but it was very unique when they brought all that in and when the composer brings all the energy down and you have like that like a like a like a European boys choir sound it all brought that energy down to bring in the spookiness and then lifted it up and gutted us again with that whole bottom end very bottom end orient orientated uh, composition I, I guess this is a really must be a really punchy section figuratively or literally of, of the game <laughs> You hear the rips on the horns? The very bottom end. Oh, is 
that it? No, it can't be. Oh, there's more. the um kind of games that have their own language um i mean i it's hard usually it's hard to discern the language of choral compositions at least for me unless i'm 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 going to like a beethoven concert or a mozart concert and i'm obviously familiar with the pieces of music but i know in video games they have uh, their own languages a lot or random syllables i guess that's what it must be right semi-space um which works just fine too I actually have, funny enough, uh, one of my co uh, composer tools, if you would, is a module that I can do choral compositions and actually assign to it to say something. Literally, I mean, that's where technology is. If I was to start doing a composition and I wanted the choir to say, or the section I'm writing to say, I will beat you, boss dude, literally, I can type that in, and as I played uh, the notes in a particular way, it would actually say, I will beat you, boss dude. Uh, Technology is insane, but anyhow, let's continue. I'm going to take it back a little bit. I want you to listen to what the horns do in the last, I don't know, eight bars that we just heard. Listen to how the horns is lifting the darkness of the ostinato or that heaviness of the, let's call it the orchestral chug. <laughs> if you're a metal fan, you know what a chug is, obviously. But when it lights up and you hear the horns going, you know, in that extreme forte kind of um, performance, it gives it that like orchestral chug. Let me go back a little bit. Let's listen for that. Now that was crazy. Uh, Shadow? Um, oh, I see. Oh, did you pull that from, uh, I guess, maybe something that the composer may have written down in an interview or something like that. Thank you for that. Very, very um, mass requiem style. You know what I mean? Like funeral oriented, but in a powerful battle kind of way. Like, I don't know the game, but in my head, this whole piece would have been like, you know, uh, like super gnarly field renaissance battle 
kind of vibe, you know. I don't know how to better equate that, but um, just gigantic. Now, this is along also the same lines of um, that, um, uh, you know, where, where I think we start getting to that conversation where some people say that these large bombastic compositions begin to sound the same, you know, throughout games. And, you know, the, the only reason why I don't necessarily, uh, I understand when people say that, what that means. But what I haven't heard through my journey with these OSTs, what I've only been doing this six months now, is that there is any repetitive use of, um, in, in the likeness of copying. And what I mean by that is, I think when people say, and this is just me interpreting, but I, when I think people uh, say um, that they kind of sound the same, it has to do with the instrumentation and not the composition. So whenever there's battle themes that are going on, you're going to have, at least in, in these cases, you're going to have timpanis. You're going to have the chugging, what I'm going to call orchestral chugging. You know, that's the bottom end of the string sections and the brass sections and stuff holding these bombastic kind of because that's the energy that the, you know, that music gives in those particular kinds of scenes. You know, I've had a lot of comments uh, throughout the last six months about kind of sounds the same. It kind of sounds the same. And I and I get you, you know, if, if, if you're one of those folks that say that it kind of sounds the same, uh, it it kind of does sound the same, but I could, you know, there's a definite discernible difference in the melodic content of that approach and the original content of that approach in between, you know, between composers, you know, and then of course, composers that step outside of the box a little more, they'll do tracks like this and then add a little hybrid, little synthy sounds, a little couple of things that might kind of glow and glam in there. And I think I've done one or two very similar to that. Um, contra bassoon melody, yeah, that would be sick. You know, I think the contra bassoon sometimes gets gets that gets labeled as that kind of like that ofi kind of you know giant bear running through the woods. You know, but the contra bassoon would be great. <laughs> okay, <coughs> excuse me. Let's now get back to some Minecraft. We're, we're closing in on my two hour limit, but I'm gonna go past two hours, it looks like. So what I'm gonna do is one more Minecraft journey, and then I'll close up the Minecraft, and then we'll do two more OSTs at the end, okay? So that's how we roll here. Mahalo. All right, so let me uh, switch back to Minecraft. Ah, uh, yes, Sax, Sax Appeal 21. That's a very good, yes, very much so. Bravo to that teacher. Yeah, that would be killer. All right, um, let me do this. I'm back, okay, stand by. <sighs> Go back to the game. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm immediately rushing back to that boat and I'm gonna see if I can use those shears. Hit this, I'm gonna make sure I have my shears. I'm gonna risk losing my shears, but if I, I realize that I've gotta get there in time before the sun so i'm running guys i'm cooking i'm going to my boat that's my boat remember that from forrest gump oh geez no negative <laughs> almost got smoked by the uh, roasting zombie oh that that scared me oh geez oh what the Run, run, oh, 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 where did he come from? Get in, get in, oh, shit. Oh, how do I get in? Oh. Oh. <laughs> no. How, how is he still shooting me? He's in the water? Oh, I'm screwed. Oh, no, I don't know how to get out of this. Oh, I'm dead, right? I mean, look at me. My hearts are gone. How, how come nobody told me he could be in the water? Now I can't even finish my journey. I got no hearts. Guys, I thought you were my buddies. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Well, now I got no hearts. I don't have enough food. I'm dying. Can I switch over while I'm in the boat? Hang on. 
I think I have. Oh, look, I got bread. Oh, my, my heart's jumping. I'm dying right now, guys. Give me a second. Seriously. Oh, my God. That was the gnarliest, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hey, Burning Knight, how's it? Uh, I can't eat any more food, right? So does my heart get stuck? Like, that's as far as my hearts can go. Like, now I don't feel safe going to the other side of the island like I wanted to. Oh my gosh, that was the worst. I wasn't ready for that. I was thinking I'm going for a leisurely, like, swim on the ocean, and this guy follows me. Can I eat more? Oh, I'm eating more. Okay. So, if I eat and I sit still, does that kind of chill out and give the heart a little time to catch up? Like, I see when it goes flicker, flicker. Oh, I don't know if I have any more food now. Mine some iron. I need to mine iron. I don't know where to find iron though. It's such a pain in the butt. Okay, stand by. I gotta recoup, guys. I've been floating out here in the water. I feel like I busted an oar or something when that guy shot me. I definitely gotta save that piece and put it up on YouTube. There's no two ways about it. Old man needs defibrillator. Okay, wait a second. Let me turn this here. Whoops. And there's not enough time. Where's the sun? Mm. No, I'm a little too nervous without the food. Now I'm going to go back and have to have a barbecue standby. I'm so nervous I forgot what I'm supposed to press to move forward. Turn. Yeah. Well, that just ruined my mission. That was so lame. I'm so heartbroken. I really wanted to go over to that other section. Now I've got to roast some food. Well, guys, I guess I learned, right? Come on, though. You guys have to tell me. You had Somebody had to have spazzed out and had a heart attack with me when I was going through that. Close the door just in case. Okay, guys. Well, I guess I'm roasting food. Let me see what I have in my... Can I eat the eggs raw? Hey guys, can I eat the eggs? Like raw, or do I have to cook them? Resident Evil. Oh, I use it for cake and stuff. Ugh. All right, well, fine. Then I must eat. I'm gonna, I gotta make some food, stand by. I'm, I'm still a little nervous from me blowing it. Like I'm usually in a flow and I know what buttons I need to push, but that freaked the hell out of me. Um, ugh, that was the worst. Okay, eggs is making cake. Okay. Oh, that's all I had in lamb chops. Wow, I'm really dropping the ball here, guys. As far as health. So grim, scared the crap out of me. Yeah, I definitely don't have enough time to get to the other side. All right, sc screw it, I'll mine. I don't know where to get iron. I've been, you know, is there a trick, guys, where like you have a higher chance of finding different minerals when you're mining like closer to mountains than let's say by the ocean? Because one of the things that I've realized, it seems like, maybe it's just logic, but when I'm by the ocean and I'm digging down, I never get into any coal or anything cool. And it's like, if you get towards more of the mountains, you get more minerals. Only stands to reason, right? If you study a little geology, there's, you know. But iron is deep underground. Now, oh, and I have to do one of those kind of explorations. Oh, and it's not exposed to air. Good in a snake. Thank you. My axis location, too. Oh, that's a little over my head right here. <laughs> uh, staircase underground. It's safer than a cave. Oh, oh, so in other words, caves, existing caves in the game are where potentially the devs put um, uh, creepers can spawn or they live down there already, right? 
if so if I dig down is a lesser chance for me to get creeped on yeah no that's why it's called Minecraft yep all right well let's see where the Sun is let's let's give her a go here let me come around here because I don't want to ruin the aesthetics of my of my rig so let me do something here let's just try see if I have a shovel I have no shovel so I am going to just I have to do it this way guys I don't have enough tools to go faster getting used to digging in a way where I have to create my own steps. Um, okay, now I can change to this guy and get a little get a little jiggy with it. Hey, how many of you guys heard or saw uh, that Chris Rock finally acknowledged that whole thing with Will Smith? Man, that was gnarly. He he went off like he waited a year and he went off. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay, look, I'm getting deeper. I'm, I'm coming into the coal. Let me make sure I have a good line out just in case there's an emergency and I have my steps. Yeah, if you guys didn't see that, believe it or not, this old man has a TikTok account. And I really do like TikTok. I mean, it can be kind of weird and creepy, but it shows like a whole different level of, of energy that the, that, uh, that the world is feeling. <laughs> Let's, let's put it safely that way. But anyhow, yeah, there's a lot of clips on TikTok and as well as YouTube. I guess you just have to look up um, Chris Rock destroys Will Smith or something. I don't know. Oh, man, I'm losing power with my, um, my pickaxe, which I know means that I'm going to hear that clink. I have to place torches. You see, now it's getting nighttime. I can tell by the music. That's when the music creeps in. I get ch choke coal. I mean, a lot of coal. <laughs> if you're from Hawaii, you know what that meant. Oh, uh, there it is. That's that catch sound where I lost. All right, well, it's getting nighttime. So let me just do some outdoor cleansing first. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to widen this a little bit. God, I love this music. So beautifully simple. And that's not a hack against the composer. What was his name again? C814? I watched a couple really great YouTubes on what happened to C814 as a composer and Minecraft. And it's... You know, it's right up there with the Mick Gordon. Well, not not quite like the Mick Gordon thing that's going on, but, you know, negotiations, that uh, contracting that fell down and fell apart. Um, and also watched a little bit about the actual developer of um, Minecraft and how he sold it for a couple billion dollars and some of the things he's gone through as a human. Very unique stories. All right, guys. Let me see if I can do this real quick for us. Oh no. Why can't I? Oh, it's too late. I was going to make a pedestal for us. Too late. Watch the sunset. La la. Remember, we watch our sunsets, at least on my journey. Perfect with the music, too, right? Yes, I have to learn how to make ladders, too. Isn't that nice? Just everything about this is so cool, even with the sunset and how the stars kind of come in. Uh, 
Oh, the music sounds great. Let's see if the moon's coming up. Oh, there's Mr. Moon. And there's my lava dude. I've got this little patch of lava here. Sometimes I'm wondering if maybe somewhere underneath there, there might be some iron. You know, from the lava and pressure. Oh, it looks like I better stay here now. The dudes are like right on me. Look at him. He's waiting for me. I wonder if I should make a run for it. If I jump from here, I'll definitely lose some life. I'll break some ankle, won't I? Hmm. I want to make a run for it so I can hit the bed. So, let's see. Um, how do I do this again? I, oh, yeah, I got to do it this way. Okay, I'm going to take a few blocks down. Oops. And then I'm going to make a run for it. Control W. Here I go. Oh, punk. One of the, oh, get in the door. What are you doing? I don't know if I can do this. It hurts my heart. <laughs> my boy just got shot in the butt. Okay, hang on. Let me make some tools really quick. Uh, let me go here. Um, what can I make? Okay, I need um, sword. I need a new pickaxe. That's it? That's all I get out of that? Oh, I need more sticks. Stand by, everybody. Sticks. See, I'm learning to look for things when I run out of things that I go, wait a minute, do I have enough sticks? Um, so let me go back to this, and now I can make a couple things. I have an axe, I have a hoe, I have the pickaxe. What else should I get here? Oh, I'll play a horror game. Don't worry about that. I'll just, I need to get good enough. I need to get my skills. Amazon was supposed to deliver my, my game controller today, and they said it's a day late. So needless to say, that's going to be another learning curve. Um, I need to sho might as well get the shovel in. Shovel some of this crap. Move the dirt out of the way. Let me move the coal up here. Is there anything else that I could get or should get? What's this? I don't need anything for aesthetics yet. I've got enough torches. So I think I'm pretty good to go. Hi, Billy Timik. <laughs> yes, I just learned about that, guys, and I had no idea about peaceful mode. Thank you for that, uh, Billy TMC. Um, that there is something called peaceful mode here. And you know what? I might give that a wing if I find myself getting really frustrated, but I think for myself, I'm still, I still got enough reaction left to want to encounter, you know, the bad guys and stuff. But I really am considering the peaceful mode um, just so that I can get ahead of my skills and build some things, and then maybe I'll go back into, you know, the, the regular mode. Um, but, you know, you guys are teaching me so much here. I know that I've advanced... A million miles had I just tried to go for this game and not gotten the leads you guys have given me I probably actually I don't want to say I would have quit but I probably would have gotten discouraged so I think one of the great things about you guys tell me maybe today's day and age um, because of YouTube and stuff that all the help videos out there has exponentially helped grow um, the retention, I guess, of video gaming, maybe for noobs like me or something like that, that continual growth where you can where you can look up on YouTube how to make a bed. Or like I still haven't figured out how to make a window pane versus these blocks, but I did come across um, a video that said something about it, so I'm, I know I can look that up, but uh, without a doubt, that seems to be um, the way to go for us noobs. All right, guys. Uh, let's say goodnight to our Minecraft journey, and I will shut this down, and we'll, we'll do two more OSTs, and then I will be calling it a day. And that's